Hi everyone, welcome back to another session of Dynamic Forms uh, series. So in this one, we are going to see how we can apply profile filters on sections or on any of the fields in your Dynamic Forms, all right? So let's just go ahead and get started. I will move to my org. And here is my account record page, which I have already upgraded to Dynamic Form. So first of first, I'll show you how you can apply the profile filter on the section okay so uh but so first of all but what i mean by profile filter is let me just first show you something so let's say let's say this is this is the list of my users and for example this user okay this user has a profile of custom this custom sales profile okay so if i let's say if i open this user Okay, so this, this user has this profile, custom sales profile. Now, what I want to do is I want to display this particular account basic info only to custom sales profile uh, user and nobody else. Okay, so for example, the user that I am logged in with, I have a system admin uh, profile. Okay, let me just show you. Here it is. Okay. So the whole, um, okay. So the scenario is that if I set this section to be only visible for custom sales profile. So when I'm logged in as system admin, and if I navigate to record detail page, then I should not be able to see this section. But if I log in as this particular user or any other user having this profile, then I should be able to see this section. Okay. So let's just go ahead and do it. So this is the section and I'm going to add a filter here. So in order to apply the filter, profile filter, you need to, uh, you cannot directly put a profile filter. You need to actually like, you know, check that who is the logged in user and what is the profile. So in order to do that, you need to click on advanced, click on select and here click on the user. This will actually give you the logged in user. Okay. User. And then here you have to check for the profile and profile and then name. Okay, name and click on done. And if profile equals to now you have to just put the profile name over here. Okay, so I want this particular section to be only visible to this profile. So I'll move to this, to this profile and I'll copy the exact name and I'm going to paste that name in the filter. Okay. So this doesn't have any like, you know, profiles don't have any specific API name. So this is the API. This is the name for the profile. Copy this and then paste it here and click on done. Okay. Now, if you see this section has now has a filter profile filter for custom sales profile. Now, if I save this, then six, this section will only be visible to this profile users and to nobody else. Okay. So let me just save this and click on save. And now if, because I am logged in as a system admin right now if i go to accounts then i should not be able to see that section so see right i'm not able to see that first section this section because this section will only be visible to this profile now let's just go ahead and log into that any user who has this profile so for example this one i have maya right this user has this profile so i'll log in as this user and we'll check that how it works click on this And now if I open an account and I open an account record page, then I should be able to see the first section that was account basic info. So account and let me see all accounts and let's say this one. Okay, so here you see. So to this particular profile user, this particular section is visible, but it was not visible to my profile, right? System admin. And similarly, if I log into as any other profile, this section will not be visible because on this particular record page, dynamic form, I put a filter that this section sections should only be visible to this particular profile, the sales custom profile. Okay. So this is how you can put a profile filter. I'll see you in the next session. Till then, keep practicing. Bye-bye.